Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if I understand the question correctly, the person's wanting this shadow from the red to the green circle. And it took me a, honestly, it took me a little while to think about how to do this. Because if you just, let's just start over. I'm going to draw a four inch ellipse. And I am going to control well, I'm going to make a duplicate of it and move it over for my green one. We'll go ahead and make that green. I am going to take the original and control D and then holding down the shift key, I'm going to make it the size of my ring. And then I'm going to take the smart fill tool, sit on red. I'm actually going to nudge that out of the way and take away the outline. But I think this is what I, I'm hoping this is what he was asking. He maybe watched a video about my inner shadow, which you can change right here, but that doesn't work in this case. You've got to go to your normal drop shadow and you start at the top and see, you could have the shadow wherever you wanted to. But if you take the shadow to the edge, it's got a shadow on the inside is what we want but it actually has a shadow on the outside that we don't want. So here would be the end result. I'm gonna make a duplicate of that. Take this one and put it in the center of the page. Hit P and put that in the center of the page. And as you can see, it's not like I have it here. So how do you get, I've tried uh, like intersecting that. The only way I can think about doing it, and it worked, We'll be able to take this one and let's make a couple of duplicates of it. And let's make that, uh, go ahead and make that red and move that up out of the way. But then we're going to take our original line and go hold down the shift key and narrow that red line. Now I'm going to take away the outline and I'm going to go back to the shadow tool and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And you can see the shadow on the outside and the inside. But if we put it up here and go, because I moved it and I can see it, I'm going to go to order back a page. Well, maybe that didn't work. Let's try that again. So there's my solid red. I'm going to get rid of these lines. I'm going to move this over and up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and take this one and go up to object order front of page. So now I have a shadow. And if I put my green over there, I have a shadow that appears only to be on the inside because the, the other red is blocking. Uh, if we go back to the shadow tool, and hopefully click on our shadow, then we can make the shadow darker on the inside and make it darker on the outside. You just can't see it because this red is protecting it. Kind of a, a trick, I guess. Anyway, I hope that was his question. I hope that answered it. Thank you for watching.